Hey guys, so now we're going to show you how to trim a retainer. So we fabricated a retainer using GT Flex Pro and using the mini star. And what you see, we're going to do a rough cutting with these really sharp scissors. Again, you can buy some of this stuff from uh, dental laboratories or dental suppliers. And they, they kind of make your life easier if you can really trim majority of the blank away from the model. Of course, we are going to use some finishing burrs at the end. But what you see here, it's quite a nice, easy lift. And then using a wax knife, we can remove the blank. And also using curved scissors now to go around the curved surfaces to remove bulk of the excess. And finally, we're going to use a finishing burr with a straight hand paste. Uh, similar to one of your denture polishing burrs to remove any any sharp edges but majority of the work should be really done with scissors avoiding a lot of uh, dust and um, only using the fine burrs as we need so yeah filming this in time We're using an acrylic burr here at the speed 20. We start with the edges posteriorly. The retainer should only have up to a millimeter on the gingiva, no more. Otherwise it can get quite uncomfortable for the patient. You could even do a scalloped edge retainer, however, they can be quite um, tedious to fabricate. So what we're doing here is a straight edge retainer that'll just go across the gingiva uh, up to a millimeter on the gingival surface. Now we're going to use the finer polishing burr after doing our rough trim to get the edges really smooth with no sharp bits and really comfortable for the patient. Acrylic polishing burrs are available through major dental suppliers. Um, you may love some, you could use a rubber, you could use a wheel. Um, this wheel as well, we have coarse wheels, fine wheels. Here we have the finished product and if I can share with you the edges do not feel sharp make sure you touch them feel them they don't feel sharp and we're ready if we can show you the extension on the gingiva it's only about a millimeter we're just touching the interdental papilla 
so you don't want it too extended onto the gum now if you see a little bit of flash you can even use um, another stone or rubber to just really finish it but um, this is pretty much done so thanks for watching guys